Uh, welcome to the postmaster from the Facebook service. Hi, Hello. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Congratulations, Sergey. Yeah, thank you very much. But I would actually keep that for the players because they were awesome tonight. They responded on such a way, especially in the second half. You know, as a coach, it makes me proud. You know the the way how they responded, the way how they wanted to fight back, especially for the for the badge and for the fans. Maybe we needed that kind of shock, or maybe a kind of team talk again in a in a half time, knowing that if we respond correctly in the beginning of the first half, in the second half, sorry, that we could get back on a on a score on a, on a track, and actually that happened. So I'm so glad for them. Uh, so proud. I would congratulate them and I will tell them tonight and tomorrow. But again, we must stay, uh, how I always like to say, humble, because we are nowhere. You know, we, uh, we are still in a period of suffering, missing players. The other guys, like we were talking yesterday here, you know, standing up, showing themselves, fighting for the badge, fighting for the fans, fighting for the team. And it's really a pleasure to, to see that, of course, such a such a response against such a really good team, one of the best in this league, which I think that now also they are in a period of suffering. Like many teams, we said yesterday, I think many teams uh, who had national team players or also they had uh, bad luck with some injuries about key players like Jingan and uh, Victor. And it's not easy, you know, when you change the team dynamics, when you change uh, automatism and everything, and it can be kind of turbulent, but of course, as a coach is challenging, as a team is challenging and you have to raise, you have to rise up and continue, that's the only way. So now we are still nowhere, we are like I say, no man's land, you know, we must not think that we are now great or we still have six big games, big steps to, to respond and to fight for every minute and every point. Uh, after half time or during half time, uh, during the break, did you thought, after considering two goals, will the table team able to come back? I mean, such a fantastic win. Maybe you can say four goals. This is the first time in the season. So, uh, you expected that? <laughs> I think nobody expected. <laughs> I think also that uh, I think that Kerala Blasters never turned over like the result after 0 2 in half time, maybe. But, you know, the, the kind of. Uh, team talk and that moment uh, when you are walking from the bench to the dressing room. It's about the, the approach, how you want to keep it positive, how you want to keep the positive mindset of players, how you want to get them back in a focus, to be fully concentrated and actually in, in football games when you restart and you start the second half and when it starts with the, on a positive note like with a, one good moment or a good corner kick or a quick goal like today also was the case. So then you get that kind of extra power, of course, with the fans, marvelous fans, you know, pushing us forward. You know, also it was difficult for our opponents because they played three days ago. Really tough game. They're sitting also now in a different, deep, less good momentum. Like we had like three games in a row, three losses. We had it also last year. For them, it's maybe new, but I still think they're one of the biggest contenders for, uh, for the title and for the trophy. So, you know, again, it's never easy in these moments when you respond and you score that goal on 2-1. Sometimes we coaches, we laugh that, uh, you know, that cliche, you know, the most dangerous result is 2-0. So, but sometimes we laugh and we say it can easily be 4-0, you know. But today we wanted with the approach in the second half to stay positive, to stay patient on the ball, especially uh, moving from side uh, to side, switching sides, then it was unbelievably difficult for uh, players like Sandeep, Jixon, Vibin, uh, Fedor, still suffering. For all of them, it was a really, really difficult game because they are coming after injuries. When you're coming back after a long injury like Jixon, for example, after four months, you need some time to get back in shape. You need some time to get back in the rhythm. Fedor is still not 100%, but the way he's contributing himself to the team, running, fighting, guiding youngsters, such a great example. Then uh, Sandeep also coming after a long time without playing, you know, 
responding on a correct way. Again, we want also our national team players to get back in a shape where we were also before the break in December. And it will come back, I think. It will come back because we have to stay focused to work, like all coaches say, to work really hard, it's obvious, and then prepare for the next games. So it was such a pleasure to see and feel that tonight as a, as a coach. So I hope that all the fans, they enjoy, they will have a nice evening tonight and maybe a nice week. All the players who scored today, three of them are foreign players. And uh, in the absence of other foreign players, I think there could be an extra effort uh, to make the team win. Especially in the twice today. So, what do you feel about that? Well, Dimi is absolutely the scoring machine. You know, in this league, he's the guy who who can punish you quickly from a half position, from a half moment. Dimi is really dangerous. He can score goals. You know, from the situations where nobody expected. From Fedor, we are really happy because of that momentum. He needed that extra motivation to continue now for the next steps. Uh, of course, when you are missing some foreign players, like his, we were speaking about Luna very often, you know, when you lose one player or two players, the complete, and if they are key players, like it was the case with uh, our captain Luna, the complete team dynamics changes because all the other players, like they're dependent of uh, a leader or one player, then as a coach, you have to change the approach. You have to change the strategy of the game, how you want to play. Then it changes the mindset of players, then you have to find, you find yourself in it. Then in one moment we were also suffering a heavy period of Pepra not being in a shape, then he got that, you know, positive momentum, starting playing good, scoring, contributing to the team, assisting. And then again, you're losing those moments, again, team dynamics change. So of course, we are happy for tonight because boys get that positive feeling back. For Dimi is absolutely important to get as a striker, it's your killer instinct, you know. Dimi, if you see him in a training session, if he doesn't score, he's angry, you know. And that's that's a great value of one striker, it means that he cares, you know. The other guys, you know, then the running, especially in the second half, the guys who came in from the bench, they input that extra power, they accelerated our game, they created that speed in, uh, in the passing, and actually we, we created those moments where actually you know, brought this nice victory to us and good three points to, you know, relax and start building up on this positive momentum again. Congratulations, coach on the win. Thank you. Good three points. Uh, six big games, as you said, coming up. Uh, the defense was a matter of concern when it was half. How do you intend to work on it in the coming games? Because if we have to qualify for playoffs, defense will be a big thing. But you know, again, it, it comes uh, it comes to uh, individual mistakes. You know, the, in the first goal, I'd say leaving the player alone because uh, when there are free kicks or corner kicks, set pieces like that, everybody gets a task. You know, everybody gets, especially if you are in man marking, task. So you have to be next to your man. So then the first goal we concede lack of concentration and the player is uh, far away. So these kind of things must not and must never happen on the highest level. If you want to play for a highest thing, whether we are speaking about trophies, playoffs, whatever it is, these things must not, must not happen. It makes me angry because this is the simplest thing in football, defending set pieces. You know, if you are in a man-to-man -man tasks, you know, stay next to him, be close to him, defend. If the ball comes, attack the ball and kick the ball out, you know, then we fail there. And then when you realize that this is the simplest thing that creates negative momentum that you concede after first ball, you concede the goal. Again, you know, I, I was thinking about the game against Chennai here at home again. And then yet after again, individual mistakes, these things uh, we must try to avoid. But again, individual mistakes, it's about decision making. In one second, the players, they recognize, let's say, tactical situation and they decide to attack the ball or to stay or to and these reactions create later that you concede goals and then for players and for us it's a moment of okay this is how it must not be done and hopefully for the future that it doesn't happen again so many of them they are still growing up you know if if you as a player want to play on the highest level to play for titles to play for trophies to stay high up the table every season this thing you uh, you must improve as a player saying okay you know these things i must never do again i must do it differently in order not to concede so 
lucky that we tonight responded in the second half that these mistakes now seeing from this perspective you know didn't affect the result or three points final result but again as a coach it makes me angry because these are simple things difficult things are to create chances difficult things are to run in a good timings difficult things are to score goals from different and difficult moments like or positions like uh, Daisu's goal or Dimi or some that's difficult simple things are you know defending and this so we must improve and it's about concentration training session repeating things and being concentrated that's the most important thing and the biggest quality of great players yeah. thank you thank you very much guys for support so great for the players